Just waiting for the school across the street to be quiet. It's Susan Padgett here. Welcome to The Change Guru. This is where we have a weekly conversation about all things midlife. And today I want to share a little technique for dealing with things that are annoying and can't be changed. Now here's an example for you. Every Monday morning at about 5 o'clock, our garbage is picked up. So it means bottles and just about 10 minutes of the most crazy clanking in the world. So you know how it is on a Monday morning. You need everything kind of to go really, really nice to start your day. But this is how my usual Monday begins. So I have a choice here. I can get really annoyed at something that I just cannot change because it is just one of the things about living in Western world. You get your garbage picked up and I cannot choose when our garbage comes or I can look at it a different way a way that actually gets rid of those kind of eh, feelings you get when you're annoyed and let's think, face it there are so many times in life where little petty annoyances happen and we focus on them we fixate on them and all it does is just stress us out and when we're going through midlife the last thing we need is more cortisol running through our body and depleting us of much needed progesterone so while I was lying there in bed and I could feel myself starting to freak out over this you know, situation I just couldn't control, instead I went to the place of thinking of 10 ways to look at this situation in a positive light. So I wrote them down and this is what I came up with, okay? Number one, modern problems. How lucky am I to live in a place where the garbage is collected? Say no more about that. That's a reality check, right? Number two, it's so awesome that people are employed. This is keeping the economy going. It's fantastic. Number three, I am thankful for people that do this job. What strong work ethic. Getting up so early in the morning, working with rubbish. I really, really am thankful and have so much gratitude towards these men and women that do this job. Number four, and admittedly, this might have been stretching it a bit, but I was thankful that I wasn't doing that job. I just don't know if I have what it takes to do a really hard, honest day's work like that. So again, it came back to gratitude, but I needed a number four, so that's what I did. Number five on my list was that I um, really like being awake at that time of day. You know, the yogis say that there's prana in the air, and you always feel a magical feeling when you are awake at 5 o'clock in the morning and outside. So it's not that unreasonable, unreasonable an hour to be awake. Number six is um, how nice is it that we have recycling going on, you know, plastic and, and aluminum and newspapers and the rubbish and stuff like that. It's fantastic that we live in a day and age where we can really sort that stuff out and reuse it. Number seven on my big list was that um, I was inspired by these garbage bins. I found myself I could be inspired and start my Monday off really clean. So that meant that when I got out of bed, you know, I just made sure that I, uh, the garbage was ready to be taken out when I got outside and just cleaned up a little bit extra and just kind of, I, I like to declutter as I go. So just kind of made sure that I did that. So I got a nice fresh start. Thanks garbage men for inspiring me. Um, number eight. How nice is it, how lucky am I that I live in a place that when the garbage men leave, it's quiet and all I can hear is the ocean. I live at the beach, so that is really sweet. Number nine, it's such a short amount of time, you know? It's, it's just um, 15, 20 minutes, something like that, and then it's over and goes back to being quiet. It's not like it goes on all day long. And the last thing on my list of 10 things to kind of reframe my brain about the garbage van coming early in the morning was that if this is the only thing that I have to worry about in my life, I'm a damn lucky woman. So those were the 10 things. And I'll tell you, the reason why I had a little bit of trouble remembering them and had to write them down is because I actually think that instead of getting all anxious, I actually fell back to sleep. Nice. So that's my strategy for dealing with the annoying things in life that we really just can't change. The truth is we can change our mindset about them, right? And when you do that, 
changes everything. Now it's your turn. I want to hear from you. I want to hear how you deal with annoying things. Tell us about it just right here, right in the comments below, and share with us how you deal with the things that drive you completely nuts. And here's what I want to do for you. If you've got something that is making you completely crazy, it's just one of those modern problems, but you just quite don't know how to put a positive spin on it, post it here and let me know, and I'll do my best to come up with some ideas of ways to help you reframe the situation, all right? Hey, thank you so much for being here. I really look forward to seeing you next week. Until then, have fun just changing your mind about the way you deal with those annoying things. All right, take care. Bye for now. that those kids sound like they're having a fun time. I'm grateful that I live in a place where you can have an awesome education. I'm grateful that the kids probably got to play outside today because it's such a beautiful day.